Hi friends, uh, yesterday we discussed about a replication task uh, in continuation of that uh, yesterday's discussion we are going to talk about uh, synchronization task. So I have given a little brief about synchronization task yesterday. Uh, uh, it is almost identical uh, to uh, with the replication task but it is uh, the purpose of synchronization task to keep an up-to-date data in the target side. So the main use case in the business side, if you want to discuss to ensure the accuracy of the data and security of the data on uh, compliance uh, data as per the standard to the, uh, the business, uh, accordingly the, uh, uh, the data will be placed into the target system. So when we, when we discuss about all these uh, uh, <clears throat> key, uh, key strategies, whatever we have mentioned, so it is also uh, it will be ensured with the cleaned and checked uh, checked for errors and duplication free data and consistent so whether it, it can be a committed completely committed data or rollback data before put into use for the business purpose okay that is the main goal behind the synchronization task whereas the replication task is simply just uh, the, uh, the source data will be placed into the target but here we are uh, in the in the the target uh, data whatever we are putting is the the accurate data the clean data and it's error free data and consistent that is the main goal of it so when we go in detail to the next level of implementation this all the possible implementation uh, we can <clears throat> tackle over uh, in the target side like in the insert operation you can do update operation do or you can do the upset operation when we say upset operation already the data have been inserted but on top of it if there is any changes comes in so the changes will be considered as update so that is what upset data and finally delete okay so any records the deletion also comes from the source that also will be handed as a delete this last three and four require the primary key column mandatorily but in first two cases it's optional okay let us jump into SQL developer the setup what we have see here uh, as I explained yesterday source user schema and target schema I have the simple four tables we have uh, uh, EMP, DEPT, bonus and sale grade okay so for our testing purpose yesterday what we did part of replication we have moved uh, data <coughs> to the target side so it is created in the runtime in the replication side but whereas in synchronization task in the target in advance you have to create a table in target uh, so otherwise uh, um, it uh, we cannot complete the uh, task uh, creation okay so we have to ensure that tar targets uh, side the table have been created so i have created two tables for our discussion today okay let's go to the iacs uh, integration section Okay, for a practical demo here I'm going to click a <coughs> new and uh, under task so see you can see the second component you can select it synchronization task here okay so once you select the synchronization task, you can select the location, the project folder in which you are going to place this uh, synchronization task. You can do that. So if you, you can give the uh, <coughs> details if you want it, like uh, source data, sync up with target, okay, HR system, okay. To analytical okay so and the task operation you can select errors insert update or upset as I told you or delete let us try to do insert operation for our testing purpose and here with the connection type so as usual this is the source we have to des uh, decide which one to select in, my, in our case we will select oracle source already i have declared and once it is selected so <clears throat> you will find three types of source in the second option to be checked in okay so let it load first yeah 
yeah so now the source connection have been selected so see here the source type we are seeing single multiple shared query so uh, the single source type meant so you are going to select the single object for our synchronization purpose so um, if i see it will it will whatever the tables in the source uh, or in schema whatever we the source connection uh, it will give it in the drop down you can choose uh, a single options uh, that is the meaning of uh, uh, this source type so if i select emp for example it will show the data quick preview for your understanding <clears throat> okay so that is the source type of single okay so then okay let it load it So now the data are loaded. So you can see, from, uh, yeah, and it will show a few columns and it's truncate the rest of the columns. So if you want to see the entire column, you can preview the column and it will show the download. I can see that. Okay, and uh, when you go to, uh, go and select the multiple source type. So in this case, what will happen? It will allow you to select multiple source object. So for that reason, you have to click the add button. Okay so once you click the add button you will see a window okay opened uh, with the selection of uh, uh, means like the list of uh, um, source uh, connection objects okay so the table object see here so for example i am selecting dept additionally okay <clears throat> yeah, with the checkbox selection once it is done okay you will see automatically the relationship established in the join condition section why because in the table side creation in the source connection already the primary key and uh, the foreign key uh, uh, have been uh, defined uh, appropriately uh, so that is the reason it's pulled the join condition in some cases you have not explicitly defined maybe you can use the use defined join condition okay so when you say multiple uh, uh, object selection uh, in the source side if you come to next section here so but uh, you may uh, come up with a question like since still we are selecting single object here so what is the purpose of uh, uh, the multiple table so in that reason based on business reason the data from the combination of table you are going to create a target table you can define it accordingly and map the columns from the combination of the table that is the way you have to understand it so now let's go back to the source side again and the third source type is saved query okay when we say saved query a query component you can create it so when i say query component if i cancel it here okay and create new if you see component section here you'll see an option called saved query okay when you uh, uh, when you uh, hit a create button it will give you an option for you to define a query okay uh, what is the connection type and what is the query you want to define it you can define it and create it for example uh, in our case i have created already one saved query i'll show you okay Okay, so save query already I have done. So if you see here, get employee details of accounting 
the department. Basically, the query is like select star from EMP where department number is equal to 10. So that is what these three records belongs to the department accounting department. So it's a saved query result. In some business cases, you want to sync up only one particular section of data. In that case, the saved query will help you. So again, uh, based on business decision, uh, they want it uh, on particular data set only to be sync up. You can define this way. Now let's go back to the single table, uh, multiple uh, table here. Uh, sync up and let us try to select that EMP and DPT table for our sync up task to be created. Okay. Again, in this case, what will happen? Uh, we are joined uh, based on the inner joint condition. The data will be pulled and passed on to the target table. Correct. Um, so okay. <clears throat> so what will happen is, it will it will pull the data belongs to only department number 10, 20, 30, and 40. There is no employee defined, so it will be excluded since it is inner joint matching results at only it will come out. Okay. Let's click next here and select target okay and i'm defining emp table alone this time because as i told in target only one table at a time for sync up you can select it for the task okay and if you want to truncate the table before load you can mention it but i already truncated the table my side so i'm not going to use that condition and similarly if you want to exercise the bulk load option you can use that but since the data set is very low i i don't prefer to doing that i will keep it false as well now uh, now the next the click next button here and if you want to define any filtration you can define it accordingly the data will be filtered for our sync up purpose i'm not going to touch this and now the fifth step is like field mapping here automatically based on column it is mapped the additional column i i in my case the table is emp table structure as it is i i didn't define additional column so i'll leave it as it is the mapping and here the interesting part is uh, unlike replication task there is no map uh, transformation logic anything um uh, uh, was not there in the replication task but but synchronization task you can add a map light for any business rule definition, the transformation and logic, everything can define and use the map light and validate it. Okay, so if there is any map light you define, you can validate the mapping as well. Uh, that is the beauty of it. Here, the transformation logic you can apply in the synchronization task. So all, as I told before, the, the clean data and data, error-free data and accurate data, so and consistent data to maintain, this is really handy section to be understood okay next uh, this is the final touch and we are going to schedule it or not schedule it i'm not going to not schedule it simply run the task for one time okay finish and the task has been created let us try to run it and verify if it's running successfully or not So if you go back and see, you will not find any data in the target side. This is the only table we are refreshing, right? Oh, sorry, on the target table. Okay, the task has been completed. Uh, yeah, the 14 reps have been loaded successfully. 
so this is about the synchronization task friends so now you must be uh, in a good uh, uh, understanding of replication task versus synchronization task hope you like my video please subscribe my channel thanks for watching my video